In Illinois, illegal aliens now can get real ID compliant driver's license with, by checking the box on, quote, employment authorization. Illinois is not the only state of concern for lawmakers when it comes to illegals voting in local elections. The House is set to vote on a bill that would prohibit non-citizens in Washington, D.C. from casting ballots. The bill would overturn a state law enabling illegals to vote locally, having a voice in city laws, and electing members of the D.C. Council. Democrats are already looking to thwart those efforts. According to a recent media report, Minority Whip Katherine Clark is urging members of her party to stand against it. As a team and as a caucus reflect the diversity and the strength of the American people. The vote comes one year after House Republicans previously tried to ban non-citizens from casting ballots in the district. The measure passed the lower chamber but never made it to the floor in the Democratic-led Senate. However, 42 House Democrats voted in favor of the legislation last year. It prompted Republicans to once again put their counterparts on the record as they make election security a top issue heading into November. This is an opportunity for Democrats today to distance themselves from Joe Biden's broken border. And if they stand with him, it'll be yet another sign to the American people that Democrats don't want border security. Good luck with that argument. House Speaker Mike Johnson is also working to advance a bill which would ban illegals from voting in federal elections. Even if the bill manages to pass the House a second time, it's unlikely to be considered by the Senate. And if it did, the measure would likely be vetoed by President Joe Biden should it reach his desk.